of your horse and this is the sword and today we are the impact Mentone Honey for the 72nd anniversary of Phanom Pantan and with us right now we have Dr. Suwin Bisawan, the Secretary General of ASEAN. Swadi Kha. But I believe today you're not here because you are the Secretary General of ASEAN. Well actually that's the real reason because what I'm trying to do is to turn the Secretariat of ASEAN into what I call a network secretariat, meaning okay. networking with everybody else, every organization. Just imagine, in one, in, in one day, we reach uh, about 5,000 in the room here, and we reach two or three million around the country, plus through your program. This is called <laughs> network secretariat, because ASEAN needs to be appreciated by the people. ASEAN needs to be owned by the people, and they have to be inspired by the vision and the mission of ASEAN. And this is exactly what we are doing. In the year 2015, mm -hmm. ASEAN is going to become a community. We are a, an extremely diverse uh, group of population in, in 10 countries. We need to know what ASEAN is bringing. And I am trying to convince them that you have to be competitive, right. you have to be prepared, you have to be well educated, you have to qualify in order to go into the ASEAN community. And you have to certainly face a lot of struggles, a lot of challenges, but also full of opportunities. You are a host of today, then. Yes, How yes. How close to your heart it is for Pano Bantan? It is very close to my heart because I was born there. I was <laughs> educated there in my primary school. And then uh, my parents uh, were, and my mother still is, a teacher in the Fondok. We have 1,700 students all the way up to high school from pre pre-schoolers. Uh, uh, it is important to empower them, to give them quality, to give them encouragement so that they will uh, develop themselves, they will qualify themselves to be ready to go into the open arena of ASEAN. It's extremely important. Any pocket of population uh, who are not ready will lose out and will not be able to benefit as much from the opportunities of ASEAN and we will have big gaps and we will have tension, we will have confrontation, we will have instability, we will have insecurity I mean, in ASEAN. And we thought the agenda of today said today is the, it's about a bridge for Muslim Thai towards the ASEAN community. community. Is yes. this the first time that you actually uh, involve the Be ASEAN community into well, this event? Uh, believe it or not, I have been doing this all around the country and in many capitals of ASEAN. Right. Different ways different uh, approaches but the same message right. and that message is get prepared ASEAN is going to give you a lot of opportunities a lot of potential in ASEAN but you have to be prepared we have and to make sure we're ready. yes and an educational institution like Pondok Bantan or essentially a high school which teaches two curriculums religious Islamic studies and secular curriculum or modern curriculum science uh, you know, business uh, training, languages, languages uh, math, and uh, English, so that they will be prepared to cooperate, to join hands with the rest of the ASEAN people to build this community together. When we look at the today event, even though the event called 72nd anniversary of, of uh, Pondok Bantan, yeah. this is not just a, a national event, actually. Mm. I mean, it's bigger than that. It's a regional event. I, I see you're a uh, guest speaker is from Malaysia, yes. from Indonesia, Indonesia from, from the embassy. The UK, yes. So uh, this is actually a, an event for yes. Muslim yes. in ASEAN exactly. community. Exactly. And uh, Thailand is not the only one that a lot of population are Muslim, yes. also Indonesia. In fact, Malay, Indonesia Malaysia. is the largest Muslim country right. in the world. So how can we incorporate that and to push this well, bridge between Muslim and us uh, going toward ASEAN community? Well, education. Yes. Educational institutions like this, opportunities like this, and we have to inspire and encourage our younger generation that ASEAN is being built for them, not for my generation, maybe for your generation, <laughs> but certainly the people in the future, the future generations, our posterity, are going to inherit this idea, this vision, this uh, dream of ASEAN, and they will have to feel the ownership of it. They have to be prepared. So that is being uh, communicated out here through the what we call the uh, uh, social network and through the uh, technology, through the TV, TV pool, 
but also through the presence of all these friends from many of the ASEAN countries, they will bring back the message. They will take back the same impression that we have that half of the Muslim, half of the ASEAN community will be Muslims. Muslims have to take the ownership of it. Muslims have to contribute. Muslims have to cooperate with others. And we all have to live in peace in the with each other force. in a positive way. Yes. yes. Today, when we, uh, when you were introducing Dr. Hamila on yeah. the stage, you were saying that she is the active Muslim citizens, yeah. and as a Muslim, we must be an active Muslim. Can yes. you elaborate that well, just a little bit? Yeah. We have to be engaging. We have to be active. We have to be contributing, and we have to be confident so that uh, we can. Uh, participate in at least now in the efforts of com community building of ASEAN. Uh, we want to, uh, you know, do what we can. We want to prepare ourselves, and we want to make sure that we have a space for us to make the contribution. So it has to be an active Muslim life, well qualified, and well prepared with experiences, with something to contribute. Good professionals, doctors. Uh, engineers, architects, teachers, nurses, uh, whatever you are, you have a contribution to make in the construction, in the building of the ASEAN community. And that's what the message we want to give to the younger generation here, outside of this center, and across the landscape of ASEAN, and in fact, across the world. You're calling Dr. Hamila uh, a role model, but yes. you also a role model for a lot of people in this country, well, in this region, yeah. not just as a Thai, but yes. also as an Asian and now also something, as a Muslim. Something strange about being a role model. You can't tell anybody that you are a role model. People will have to take I'm that up themselves. You are a role okay. Model. <laughs> and uh, Dr. Harilina would not call herself as a role model, <laughs> but people look at her and said, yes, that's the kind of woman I want my daughter to be. That's a kind of medical doctor that I want my uh, children to be. And that's the kind of active, engaged Muslim woman that I would like to see my daughters become in the future. ASEAN will give you that opportunity, but ASEAN will also be full of competition. You have to be very, very good. I see a lot of people in education industries today, a lot of students and of course the Muslim community in this region um, as a role model. Uh, can you say something to our next generation yes. and to the Muslim community yes. of ASEAN? Definitely. ASEAN is a very diverse uh, community. We have to respect each other, we have to give each other space, and we have to have mutual confidence in each other. We have to help each other. The anthem of ASEAN is, we dare to dream and we care to share. Meaning you can't dream by yourself and get there by yourself alone. Whatever you achieve in your dream, you have to turn back and look around and share the fruits of your efforts with others. Only then that we can bridge this gap between the rich and the poor and the haves and the have-nots and the elites and the common people. ASEAN would like to be a stable, a integ an integrated and a, a, a secure and a peaceful community. That's the only way to be by sharing and by caring, at the same time, aspire to do our best in whatever we do, whatever professions we pursue. Thank you very Thank you much for your time. Bye I bye. know your schedule is very, very tight Thank you. today. I'm Thank really, you. really appreciate it. Thank you. And then we take it's a, a short break and we'll come back and talk to Dr. Hamila for what's going on, what she said on stage today uh, after we have been mentioning her a few times in the, the talk right now. So don't go anywhere.